We're at Macworld, and this episode is brought to you by Jerobo. Keep brief at Macworld. This is Veronica Belmont from Mahalo Daily. Hi, how's hey, it going? Good. So good. Sorry, this is going to be confusing because this mic is for the camera for our show. Oh boy. <laughs> Yes. Now, you know all about post-editing and preparation and all that. So how long do you take to edit your show or to do the whole thing? We, have, we actually have uh, editors that we okay. use. Um, so oh, I'm so jealous. Well, <laughs> yeah. It, it's kind of weird because when I was at CNET, I used to do a lot of my own editing. And now doing Mahalo Daily, we actually have two people that edit for us. So that's really great because we can turn around things a lot faster. Um, at CES, we were just doing, we did videos for Engadget. And we would literally shoot something and have it posted on YouTube within 15 minutes. That's so that amazing. Was, that was really intense. Uh, but the average Mahalo Daily episode probably takes about, I don't know, maybe four hours to edit. Okay. If we're really going for, you know, a graphics heavy episode. Right. And you also do four days a week, right? Yeah, four days a week. Okay. Yeah. What do you think about Macworld? Macworld is always fun. It's probably like my second Christmas. It's my favorite time <laughs> of the year. I know that's totally fangirlish of me to say, but it's totally true. I think we're all there. Yeah. Uh, the, the announcements were really exciting, I think. Um, it, it's kind of hard to, to live up to the iPhone announcement of last year. There's not really much they could come out with that would compete with that kind of level of excitement. Um, but I think that the MacBook Air is a really nice looking device. Are you going to buy it? You know, I don't know. I already have a laptop. I don't know if I need to have two laptops. Um, I already have the portability of the 15-inch laptop that I carry with me, the MacBook Pro. Um, but it would be nice if I was just going out for the day and needed something for email and that kind of thing. But I think it's kind of cruel that they even bundle iMovie with it, considering there's no FireWire. You can't really do a lot of editing and that kind of thing on the laptop itself. Yeah. But yeah, it's a very cool device. I think it'll definitely have a good market with like college students and, oh, definitely. and, and people who are really road warriors and, and consistently on the go. Yeah, I can't decide whether I want to sell my MacBook Pro and get it, but uh, you know, no FireWire. But Neil has his computer for editing, and he's not getting rid of that. So it would definitely be a downgrade, I think, to go from a MacBook Pro to right. a MacBook Air. I mean, if you had one of the old school MacBooks, maybe um, that then it might be something you would consider. But going from the power of a MacBook Pro to a MacBook Air would probably not work out for you, unless you don't really need all that, you know, a workhorse laptop. Right. So we were talking to Patrick Norton about tablets and everything. What are your thoughts? Um, I'm not a big tablet person. It's, it's not something that I would really use in my everyday life, but um, it would be nice. I mean, the, uh, the, they've got the tablets over there that are working out pretty well for people. Have you played with them? Yeah, I did play with one a little bit. I haven't gotten over there. It's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, I mean, they have a woman from uh, Pixar doing uh, graphics over there and drawing on it, and it looks phenomenal. Like, just the intricate detail that they can do with the tablet is very impressive. What other uh, gadgets that have you found on the floor? I really liked a lot of the st Sorry. <laughs> I really liked a lot of the stuff at the Belkin booth. Okay. Um, they have a lot of very nicely designed gadgets, uh, like the KVM switchers, and even just stuff like the, um, the pad that you put on your lap for your laptop. I think that's really cute, and I kind of want that to sit on my lap at, like, while I'm at home on the couch. The, the podcast studio, too. Yes, exactly. Uh, the podcast studio is cool. They had some musical, uh, musical performances there. So that was a fun booth. Um, otherwise, I haven't gotten to take a look at too, too much. I was looking for the panic booth, but I can't find it. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. Where? At the developer oh. lounge. Oh. So over in. Apparently it's in the developer Okay. <laughs> so we'll head to the developer lounge. their software, so I'll definitely go head over there and check that stuff out. Well, you guys can find Veronica at... Ma mahalodaily.com. Uh, Daily.mahalo.com. I'm sorry. Daily.mahalo. Daily works also. Okay. Yeah. It just switches over. It's awesome. Three to five minutes, right? Probably. Four days a week. Yeah. And uh, basically, you cover how to stuff almost. Um, yeah, we do how to stuff. We're kind of starting to gear back more towards technology related content. We were doing a lot of, you know, trying out different things and, and seeing how those were going over. But at the core, I'm really a nerd, so I kind of want to stick to the tech stuff. Of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You can get a Drobo for $50 off using promo code CALI, like California, C-A-L-I, at drobostore.com. I'm Cali Lewis. Fast credits. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's a wave. <laughs> Okay, come on guys. No, don't, no worries, not at all.
Genau. 